Hi folks, just a quick one getting the VMP1 HP adapter built up. A few guys were asking on the Facebook group and I figured I'd get a video made. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the valve from the back of the gas mag. Once that's out, you're going to want to pop it into our HP adapter. And what you're looking for as you're doing this once it does get tight, is that you need the windows of the gas valve to be aligned with the window at the top of the adapter. Like so. And what that means is you'll get maximum flow and hence you're going to cycle properly at the FPS you want it to. Now you're going to need to knock the pins out to remove the feed lips and gas router from the mag. So if you elevate it from something, you're going to knock the pins out from the side that has the thin bit of material here. Now I'm going to use a screwdriver because that's probably what you've got, but it would be better to use a pin punch where possible. Then you can pop your feed lips off. Then you're going to pop the feed lips and gas router onto our adapter. And you're going to put the pins back through, making sure they go through on the side that has the most material around this pin. If you see on this side there's not as much material, obviously we've got to copy the casting of the mag. You want to pop it in on this side here. And what you should find, you won't need to hammer these pins in now um, because it's plastic. We've toleranced it such that you just need to press it against something and those pins will go in and line up. And that is your adapter built up. What you're then going to want to do is put some air through it, rack your VMP1 before you put it in. That is to protect the nozzle. Obviously we've had a few of these nozzles snapping within the community. Um, that's because it's an MP9 design. Hopefully you can put in a CNC um, aluminium nozzle from WeTech or something to solve that. So yeah, rack your gun, pop this in, and you're good to go. A couple of things to note here, there is a shim at the back of the magwell. If your mags don't fit into this, just remove that shim and they'll fit lovely.